simplest way to lower your scores is you've got to hit more greens. How can you get yourself hitting a few more greens? Let's share with you some really simple fixes to make sure you're hitting more greens and lowering those scores. So playing with Matt here today and he's already hit one in there nice and close. So I've got a wedge into this green and this is our first point. You've got to hit more greens with wedges. And that sounds bonkers to me all the time. Yeah. Because I just think wedges, it's wedge. Everyone hits greens Everyone hits the green. But do you? We miss them. So first port of call for you to really look at your scores to see if there's real low hanging fruit or getting better out there is how many greens do you miss with wedges? So work out from a distance you want to, you know, where you hit your wedges. So I'm going to go kind of 110 yards in. And next time I play my rounds, I'm going to count how many times I miss or hit the green with wedges. These are things you can absolutely improve. Low hanging fruit, lots of golfers can hit wedges. We're not talking Tiger Woods massive power now. We're talking you're reaching, you yeah. can get there. It's you, you, the task, part of the task is done. You can complete it, you can reach. Let's get you hitting the green. So good strategy. Matt's hit it in quite close. So now I should try and get closer, should I? Well, no, what I would do personally, knowing that I can hit greens and miss greens with my wedges, is I'm gonna continue the strategy that I was playing from the start. Yeah. I'm gonna go for this hole. If you do a little zoom on that green, so I'm gonna go at the flag to left. Yeah, I, if this was me here, I'd be aiming two yards left, probably, 100%. right in the centre. Because I can see short right with a miss, with my wedge being quite a common miss for lots of golfers. Yeah. Lots of amateurs I play with hit wedges, they pop a bit high, they don't control the launch, and it does tend to go short right. And short right there was a horrible drop-off. Short online, short left might catch a piece of the green. The other thing I'm going to work into this as well, which lots of you need to, is what shape shots do you hit with the wedges? My wedges tend to be... So this is my 52 degree, it's 110 yards, so it's a good 52. I'm gonna move the ball slightly back. That'll tend to make it draw a little bit. Yeah. So I'm gonna aim at the flag and draw it onto that two to three yards left position that Matt's talking about. For me to hit this shot, even with the ball slightly above my feet here, now I'm aiming at the bunker to draw that into that flag, and that's just crazy <laughs> play. That's a recipe for missing a green. All you've got to do, if you want to lower those scores, hit a few more greens. Wedges, you'll be amazed how many greens you miss with wedges. And I've hit it basically at the flag by accident. So it's a slight push at the flag, one yard right of it at the most. And I'll take that. If I would aim that at the right side to draw it in, I'd have got in trouble. Count how many wedges you have into greens next time you play. And see how many you're missing. If you're missing, get on that practice area, work out different shapes, work out how much. Real one people struggle with, I think, with wedges. You put the ball above their feet because of the loft. Yeah. It really can move. Exactly. And they don't so, work it in, do they? Yeah, have yeah. you noticed that? So I would get on a few different lies and think, look, my 52 really turns left. Uh, my pitching wedge might not turn left that much. See what it does. Get good with wedges. Hit more greens. Oh, I've been inside you. No. I have. That's not inside me. It bloody is. It just looks it because it's behind the bin. It started spinning back. I thought it was going to go in. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> doing to make sure you don't go in these things fairway bunkers they are killing amateurs you should be doing everything in your power to not go in these so this is a great idea use a club that just doesn't reach just lay up a little short just of it. use a club if you need to thread it through a gap if you're good enough to do it keep doing it but if you're hitting fairway bunkers the stats are showing us they are costing you the chances of me hitting the green from here this is 110 yards out i feel pretty confident on this wedge shot that i can again get that middle of that green nine times out of ten i feel confident from that fairway i'm going to get it there from the bunker the chances of me hitting the green from here now are so slim. Whatever you can do to avoid fairway bunkers, you should be doing it. If you're not doing it already, do it. Over your next 10 rounds, if you go in two of these, just avoiding these will probably save you close to two shots, which is huge. Missing fairway bunkers. If you do go in them, maybe change your targets. I'm now aiming way left, trying to just miss the water on the left. 
and I'm not even accepting that I'm going to take that green and move it into play to somewhere I can chip it just up the left side. Like I'm quite happy out of these. I'm still doing everything to get out of them or not go in them and B, then I'm completely changing what I can do with my approach subject to the one on the fairway where I'm aiming to much more precise targets. Whatever you can do, do not hit fairway bunkers. The last point, and I think one of the most important points, and I remember playing golf this way when I was younger. Often when we make these videos, we're talking about skill sets that we've got, where we're, I'm gonna look at this hole. If you give them a little zoom of this one, Matt, I'm 153 middle, so I can hit a nine iron and fly into the middle of the green. I'm gonna try and not see the pond. I'm certainly gonna aim away from it, but yep. I'm not looking at landing spots short of the green. Lots of people will be hitting five irons and well, hybrids and Well, let's do stuff. it. I'm gonna hit one now where I've got to hit like a six iron, which is, you know, that's, going to go in low. Yep. Now the six iron coming in lower is really making me look closely at the surrounding area. So I've got a green side bunker I don't want to tangle with. Yep. I feel like that's going to be harder. I've got lots of slopes on the left I can run it in off and I've got bushes up high left so I'm aware of those but my aiming point for this is gone if we look at the green, left side of the green to 10 yards left of that green, I'm moving it. Definitely. Like in between green and sign, I'm looking yeah, down there. Yeah, 100%. So being really aware of your surroundings, 40 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards short of the green, which you're going to try and run it in from when you've got something coming in lower, is absolutely massive. And I totally used to play like this as a kid. I yeah. would see gaps. I would see runoffs. I would see bounces. Not looking at the green. How can I get this ball as close to the green as possible without tagging or tangling with the stuff that's really going to punish me. Oh yeah, lovely. Little runner up the left. Oh, it got a first bounce, which was nasty. Now she come off that slope. Yeah, like I felt like I was unlucky there. Yeah. But I'll take it. Like That's the worst case scenario. Almost green high and I'm chipping on. Being aware of your land angle. So many people, this is the most common one. If you're this person, you need to think about your distances. What do you hear on the 15th, the par three at your home course? You ask people, they go, oh, it's like 180 yards. I hit a seven iron there. Well, it's downhill. There's loads of run out to the green and it runs for 30, 40 yards. So mm. you're, you don't hit that because if we then go and play a hole where you've got to fly it all the way and you're hitting that club, you're in trouble. <laughs> so understanding that you are coming in lower, understanding that ball there, even catching the rough, had 15 to 25 yards of roll on. And if I'd have just hit my exact spot, it would have had almost 30 yards of roll on. Yes, I just hit a six iron 158 almost centre, but I didn't. I flew it probably, well, 110-ish, 120 yeah. yards. Hitting more greens. If you can hit one more green per round, two would be great your scores will come down. These are simple, really low hanging fruit cheats you can use to improve your game.